Hi everyone, and my, my name's Pa, and welcome to my vlog. So, a bit about me. I'm in first year in MPS, and my main hobbies are art, radio, and sport. So, in this vlog, I thought it'd be good to, to choose one of them, and the one I've gone for is art. So, in, the, in this vlog, I'm going to go through a few of the techniques I've used and show some of my pieces. I'm going to do a quick tutorial and I'm going to just show some of the some of the what I take inspiration from and um, yeah hope everyone enjoys. For my pieces I like to try and find different stuff around my house that I can use to draw because I like I think it's a great break from looking at screens all the time so what I chose was two cards that I could base my des graphic design around. So the first piece I did was a gra graphic design and it's of a joker car from a card pack. Um, I, I got inspiration from this after I went to a talk with MPS and they were talking to Eva Mali who's a graphic designer and I after, after, after going to that I, I got the idea of trying to create something so I tried to mix a lot of different colors and different patterns and bring together the, the two designs from the different cards and I did a bit of like rough work up at the top to kind of choose different colors so kind of some vibrant kind of oranges and stuff which I think is really cool. For something a bit different I decided to work on some some of my kind of skyscape or landscape uh, art and what better to it to find inspiration than this 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 great picture from the north side people so yeah i chose to base on that so in this i kind of look to have a bit of a contrast so i had the kind of black and white telescope against the colorful background and that kind of gives a really nice backdrop to it so the technique i used was kind of a fading technique so going from from a uh, darker to lighter and I think and then leaving some gap with where it's just white down the bottom so that kind of that's kind of the light so the, it, it um it kind of it kind of works out well that the it's if it, it fades into each other and then the yellow is the kind of brightest down the bottom so that's that piece and next I'm going to do if you do a close-up tutorial okay so the next thing we're going to do is to do a tutorial so I'm going to do a quick drawing from uh, one of my earlier earlier designs and um, I'll just talk through it and um, remember our uh, drawing is only one way to be creative there's so many other ways to be creative whether it's making something or even designing logos and stuff online but I'm just going to show you one way to do it Okay, so here is the tutorial, and I've kind of got. It was actually quite hard to film. I thought it would turn out a lot better, but however, I just want to show you a bit, maybe some of the kind of shading techniques I used to, to do it. So I did a kind of rough outline uh, in pencil, and then I just kind of lightly, lightly add the add a bit of color color in to the different parts. Um. Yeah, so then then I uh, kind of looked to try and get in a few different colors. So it started with a kind of blue, blue and just kind of curving the lines in. It's kind of easy to do just to kind of fill the whole space. And yeah, it, w one thing also to try and do is to get the, get the eyes kind of do, doing that kind of shape so that you can see that it looks like the pupils are kind of looking ahead and it kind of gives a slightly evil look to the... Uh, to the joker that I was trying to get. So to finish it off, I would just get try and make sure that I got all 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 the uh, all the color in between all the lines. So I kind of went for blue and green and yellow and red to make it kind of stand out against the white background so all that's left to do then at the end is to sign my name which I've done which is something you should always do uh, with your work
Another place I like to get inspiration from is this book, Awesome Things to Draw. It has a lot of really good step-by-step -step drawings and one in particular was this one of a plane and that, in and that inspired me for the, n the next thing I've done. And um, So this plane that I've drawn is the Blackbird SR-71, which was a, w a war plane that was incredibly fast. but. I tried to put a modern twist on it by putting different colors in. Obviously, it wouldn't be a great great color if it was an actual war plane because it would be far too easy to see. But I kind of just wanted to to draw something that that's kind of modern that looks modern because one of the main things about modern art is to create something that someone can't go and take a picture of. And I think I've managed to do this in this one so. I like Last it. but not least, I've done an animation and I decided to do it on Woody, the Toy Story character. And I got the picture from from this book and I tried to, as best as I could, to recreate it. So I really enjoyed uh, drawing this because there's a lot of cool different colors and a lot of simple shapes but when you bring them together it can create a really effective piece and yeah drawing animations are always a fun thing to do and one thing in particular to work it that is a bit more difficult is the face so what you try and do is to do that lightly lightly at the start until you get more co comfortable with it because Getting the face and the eyes right is very important for the overall piece, but um, yeah. There you go, that was a pretty brief uh, overview of of the kind of art that I like to do. Um, so yeah, you can probably do stuff that, that'd be much better than that, but I think it's really important just to try and enjoy art and not be too hard on yourself if it goes wrong. And just, there's always things in your house or something that you can find that you can draw. So. Um, I'd love to know what you thought of this video or if anyone, if anyone uh, has anything, any art they've been working on, I'd uh, love to hear. So yeah, cheers everyone for watching and um, yourself during this time. Um, so along with the art, some of the things I really enjoy doing are um, my radio and podcast, which is Offside Opinions on DCUFM every Wednesday at 4. So if you get a chance, have a look. Have a look at that, or any of the other DCUFM shows. There, there's some really good good stuff on that. And yeah, just just try and get try and get involved in the stuff you like doing, and uh, have fun. See you.